Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, I'm back here with a little tip. This is a hard drive of mine. It is a 500 gigabyte Western Digital model number WD5000AAKS. Um, and I actually have two of these. Uh, this one over here died a while back. Maybe a year or two ago, I think. Um, and recently, like a couple days ago, actually about a week ago, I... Uh, I can't think right now. My computer was being weird, and it kept blue screening, and then eventually, a few days later, after blue screening a million times, uh, it completely locked up without blue screening, and then when I rebooted it, it did not recognize this drive anymore. Or it kind of recognized it actually. Um, in BIOS, in its uh, as as the BIOS or the CMOS boot screen comes up, uh, this drive was on SATA zero, I think zero or one, and it just was blank. Like it recognized that there was a drive there, but it didn't know what kind of drive it was. So I took it out and I figured it was dead. Um, I plugged it into my hard drive dock over here and it would spool up spin up and eventually kind of make a k -k 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 and then shut down windows would recognize it would make the like new hardware noise like Doo -doo -doo, you've got new hardware but it would never actually show a drive and excuse me the drive did not show up in um, Microsoft management thing. If you go to here to manage disk disk management, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, it did not show up there, so it wasn't just the partitions were dead. Here's disk management, which shows all your disks and all the partitions on your disks. Did not show up there. Um, and I tried it on a couple different computers using this dock, and nothing worked. So, and this is this dead drive that just died recently. I know that this drive, and I confirmed it, is the exact same thing as this drive, the one that died a couple years ago. So I thought maybe the circuit board died on this, on the drive that just died, and the actual disk or the heads died on the old drive that died a couple years ago. And if I'm lucky, I can swap the circuit boards from the two-year-old drive to the new drive, or the recent drive, and probably have to recover the partitions because I think all the partition information is held in flash or something on this board. I'm not positive about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So even if I swap the boards, it would probably have the partition layout for the old drive on the new drive, which would be weird, but I think with Gparted, you can recover the partitions by looking at the actual platters and figuring out what's actually on the drive and reconstructing the partition table, um, etc. Anyway, so took all the screws out. It was four torque screws on the old drive H because it was at the house, my parents' house. And this one's marked with an A because it was here at the apartment. Um, took all the screws out, and I noticed... Unfortunately, I already cleaned it off, but, okay, here's here's what these boards look like. Here is like a 16-pin connection, um, and that's the logical connection between the board and the inside of the drive. And then there's this 4-pin connection right here, which is just to power the uh, spindle motor for the platters. Anyway, so th this 16-pin connection corresponds to these, or I think it's 16. No, it's more than that. It's 20 pin. Yes, 20 pins. 20 pin connection right here. This was all tarnished, even burnt looking on the, the drive that I'm trying to recover. So what I did <laughs> is I just took that tarnish off with a pencil eraser it literally did look like it was burnt, and I was uh, under the impression that maybe the drive actually overheated, 
because when I finally took <laughs> this drive out of the computer, I realized how much dust was in there. The entire front was clogged. Both of the side vents were clogged. It was like a blanket of dust. So I'm sure th this drive got super hot and probably burnt those contacts or something. I don't know what happened. Anyway, they, they tarnished. So I cleaned them up with an eraser and uh, put the sucker back on. Of course, that was on this drive. And I've only got two of the screws in it right now, but we can pop that sucker in the thing, turn it on. And then normally here it would spool up. And then it would go zhk, 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 and then it would just shut off. But as we can see, it is detecting the drive, and there's all my files. So, um, if you do have a drive that suddenly stops working, you might have two options. One, if you have an identical drive already that does work, you might be able to swap the circuit board onto the dead drive and possibly recover the partitions and possibly get your data back, at least for the time being. You might be able to swap the board over, recover your data, swap the board back, continue using your old drive, something like that. Or you can try buying an identical drive off of eBay or something like that and swapping the boards, whatever. But that's really iffy. And again, my problem here was these contacts between the main circuit board on the drive and the drive itself, the, the case and the platters and the heads on the inside was tarnished and it was not making a good connection. So check that. Um, shine those up with a, just a pencil eraser. It's, a, it's just abrasive enough to take off any tarnish, but it won't damage the board itself as long as you don't go crazy with it. Um, just shine it up until it's, well, shiny and uh, put it back together and see what happens. And maybe you'll get as lucky as I. I was actually planning on saving up money to professionally recover this drive because it has a lot of old music files. It's got um, my entire movie collection, which I can always re-rip or whatever. Um, it's got all of my pictures for the last 10 years, I would say, 8, 9 years at least, on it. Um, and I've got a two-year-old backup of like the pictures and stuff on here, but nothing from those last two years. So, um, it wasn't, it's stuff that I wanted to have back really bad, but it wasn't really pressing. I didn't, I don't need it now. I just want to have it in general. So I was thinking about saving up the money to get this recovered, which I looked into, by the way, it costs at least five or six hundred dollars. I thought it was a lot cheaper than that, possibly up to well over a thousand if the actual platters are damaged and they have to really really get in there any time that they actually have to open the drive to recover data from it like moving platters from this drive into another drive they have to do it in a clean room there can't be any dust anywhere because these are vacuum sealed basically or maybe not vacuum sealed but they're filled with they're either vacuum sealed or they're filled with the air like nitrogen or something like that they're sealed so no dust ever gets in or out of this thing and so when they open them up professionally, they have to be, do it in a clean room, which, you know, like people in white coats and masks, and they have to go through like a pressure lock before they enter the room because there cannot be any dust. There can't be one speck of dust on those platters ever, or it will get stuck on the head and it will ruin it. Anyway, so that's why professional drive recovery, hardware drive recovery, invasive drive recovery is extremely expensive but maybe you'll get lucky and uh, you'll just have to clean it <laughs> like I did. So that's all I've got for today. Um, the lessons are, one, look into cleaning the contacts on the board between the board on the drive and the drive itself. Take the board off. It'll probably have Torx screws, so you have to get a Torx bit if you don't have one, which is one of these star-shaped bits. Mine was a T10. 
two, you might be able to swap the board from your bad drive from a good drive to your bad drive if the models are absolutely identical and even then you might have to recover the partitions which is going to be a pain in the ass three which should actually be number one back up your data right now think of all of that important stuff that you have all those pictures all that music maybe I guess music's not important necessarily but all the pictures all of your homework all of your documents back that up right now throw it onto, I don't know, Google Drive or Dropbox or something. Just spend the time to do it, and when this happens to you, you probably won't get as lucky as I am, but you might be able to be prepared for that and still have your data back backed up somewhere. So be careful. It's one of those things where you think, oh, that'll never happen to me. My drive will last at least a couple more years. I don't have to worry about it. And then it happens, and you're screwed. It happens to everyone, basically. Um, so think about how old your hard drives are. If they're more than a few years old, three or four years old, I think these are going on like six years old. Yeah, August 2007, so they're almost six years old. Back that shit up right now. <laughs> Please do it. Thank you. Good night.